Um, while I was building my new game thing in Goodland on the Minecraft server, um, I needed to build a reliable two minute timer. Um, and it was quite tricky. So this is what I've come up with and it's pretty low cost, which is why I'm doing this little tutorial thing. Now, I'm sure, let's start it up while we're talking. I'm sure there's going to be, this being YouTube, a ton of posts of people going, well, I can do that with half, half a block of dirt and a repeater and it's going to be one wide and it's going to be stackable and all this shit. And if you can do that, well done. Go and make a video tutorial about it. Um, this is not including the start, but the start button um, and the repeater there, which frankly isn't really necessary, but I'll put it in there anyway. Um, two repeaters. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Six redstone torches, and uh, about I think like 15, again not including this output either, uh, 15 redstone dust, and three pistons. So it's not, I mean it's not the smallest, most compact. Yeah, minute one gone. Um, it's not the most compact thing ever. I mean we could probably squeeze it down another, you know, I mean I could possibly put that there. I'm a bit worried about dispensers getting some random redstone noise as they are prone to do so I don't fully understand that as yet. Um, I'm pretty good with redstone as I've said before but there are some the the nuances and the the glitches and that kind of leave me a little confused but we'll run through this. Um, as I say it's it's pretty uh, pretty simple to build. Um, this is the output line here with the, the glowstone, not glowstone, the lamp um, obviously being powered. This is the restart button and you need a restart button because it will do the two minute cycle and then it will turn itself off. Like that. Lovely jubbly. Um, so what we've got in here is a dispenser with arrows in it a block with a push pad on it, piston with a boat on it, um, and that comes out to this, which is a pulse shortener, because you will get obviously current out here, and this will just make it into a quick pulse, which will push this block out to cover the redstone torch that's underneath it, which will then power this, which is another one, which does the same thing to this block. And then it comes back around to here. So let's make it and we will talk through it while we're doing it. That is just oh, typical. The one thing I don't have on my bloody bar is one of these. Um, so there's a little patch of earth. Um, start in the middle. And we put down our dispenser. Spot of wire underneath that, and then a block on top. Doesn't really matter what the block is. Today it's going to be grass, and then we'll stick a uh, pressure pad on top of that. And we'll grab our piston. And you know what? We can use non-sticky pistons here. Doesn't really matter what you use. Don't put the boat on yet, because otherwise you just end up with it going up and down like a bloody idiot. Um, so yeah, it's probably a good idea to actually stand on that, just to make sure it's all working correctly. That's good. And then we'll take some... Oh, I'll have to look over here to refresh my memory. Oops. So we'll take two lines out here, and then we'll build the first pole generator. Now this is something I use a lot. Um, it's pretty simple. Torch there, torch there, and then you just bring the wire over the top like that. And then when it when it gets a uh, input, 
you'll get a pulse out there. If you have to set it, if you set it to one, you get nothing. If you set it to two, you get nothing. If you set it to three, you'll get a very quick pulse. And normally you set it to four to get a decent pulse. But if we set it to three, then we'll get the pulse that tricks the piston um, and gives it that. Um, what you called it really where it pushes the block out and then forgets it's sticky and comes back in again and then we do it again it'll bring, bring it back so we switch that to four and do it see it works like a normal piston so let's do it at three to get that effect which is an important part of this so put down another bit of redstone and then we'll build another pulse limiter. Again, on three. Whoop. Bring this back to hard. I'll turn it to four. Um, and then another piston there. Another hole in the ground there. Another torch in the hole. Another one of those. And then we can. Bring that wire back around there. And that is it. Pretty simple. Um, again, we have this line coming in here uh, for whatever oops, um, turning on pulse you're going to give it. Uh, whether it's... If, if you're going to have someone standing on a pressure pad, then you might want to put another one of these pulse which is in somewhere along the line um, so that it's not constantly on because if you do it will affect this piston obviously and that will affect the whole thing so it needs to be a pulsed input uh, so a lever again would need one of these pulse things but other than that uh, don't forget to put some arrows in the dispenser you'll need those and you see the arrow sticking through the block this is probably a glitch. It will probably be uh, fixed at some point. You see, as it fires, it pulsed this, pushed that block across, which then powered this, which pulsed this, which pushed that, pushed that block across. Um, let's take the arrow out. So, because it's the first shot, which is what I thought, you need to do it so it's. Uh, sets itself. Now it's all set up. First arrow, take it out. Second arrow, all gone. Uh, the arrow takes a minute to despawn. Now, you know, I don't want to claim on the accuracy of the times because obviously it does take time for the um, the resto signals to go around, the pistons to fire and that, so it's probably not going to be exactly a minute, I don't even know if it's exactly a minute that the uh, arrow despawns, but it's going to be close enough really for what I need. Now you can probably uh, chain the pulse and the piston out. Um, to get a three minute or a four minute. If you've got a five minute, you might as well just end up with a thing dropping uh, an item onto the pressure pad. And it despawns after five minutes itself. But that should be good. Um, we should be able to fly out um, and unload that chunk and come back in. And it should all be there. In fact, what I should probably do before I do that is start it up. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Um, so there's a few sort of earlier attempts around here. There's something going on here. I don't know what. Um, and there's a droppy one here. This one actually worked, I think, but uh, it's large and cumbersome. And this was this is the normal way of doing longer. Well, one of the normal ways of doing longer uh, timers, where you get offset. 
They call them ribbons, I suppose, don't they? They're racetracks. Um, and then when they're both together, it will fire. But you've got to get your timing just right. You've got to get your maths right to find out the the factors of the number you need. Um, take the torches into account. And of course, these bloody things are expensive. That's still the one bug I've got with Minecraft is that those repeaters are bloody expensive. So let's fly all the way out as far as we can. Make sure it starts unloading. This is a test. I haven't actually tried this before. Okay, I think it's fair to say that's probably gone. Uh, let's come back in again. Do, do, do. Hopefully it will load up again. And it should fire pretty shortly. I guess. As if by magic. So, the boat is still there. Um, now, obviously, you kind of want to put this out of the way because you can push the boat, you can knock it off, and uh, you don't be wanting that. That'd be bad. Um, if you are worried about. Come on. Back you go. Oh, you see. Let's go drop off now. Where is it? It's just going to float in mid-air. Oops. Two minutes, I'm See you guys later. Um, there'll be a new Minecraft episode coming soon. And there will also be something else rather exciting coming too. A couple of things, actually. So, uh, see you then. Bye.